What's going on guys? Possibly six here, but your video and today I have an album review for you guys. This time I'm going over the latest offering from Finnish Metal Death Legends Insomnium NO1696. This album came out on the February of 23rd or the uh, 24th of uh, February of 2023. This is their ninth studio album overall, released on Century Media Records. This band did form in Finland in 1997, and these guys have been kind of going strong ever since. And from what I've heard, this band has released some really damn good stuff. And this is my first forte into this band, which I have heard. <coughs> apologies. I have heard of this band before, but I never got a chance to really listen to their stuff because. When they were releasing their music at the time, I was still getting into my metal fandom, I guess you could say. But I finally sat down, listened to this album, and well, this album is certainly unique. Uh, I will say that um, there is a lot of interesting stuff going on. Uh, from the opening uh, sixteen ninety six, we get this <clears throat> atmospheric acoustic intro. And when those riffs kick in, it really sets off the entire album. And the riffs feel a little bit black metalish in a way. And that's kind of how the riffs are throughout the entire album, it feels like. And I really kind of dig that. I really kind of dig that kind of feel to it. And atmosphere is abound on this entire album because I think this album is just booming with atmosphere, which I really do dig. And it happens on a couple of our tracks too, like on the song, uh, the song God Forsaken. Really haunting atmosphere. And I think it's the longest track on the album too, where it's got more progressive, but almost kind of doomy elements along the way as well, which that's what kind of insomnium have been kind of bouncing around from time to time where they have more of the progressive elements, but they also have more of the doom metal elements, which that's really unique in a way. And someone that really doesn't dig progressive metal all that much, if you guys have seen my reviews of like Iron Maiden and all that stuff, you know I'm not a prog metal guy myself. But it works here because it has more, it has different elements and it has more, um, I guess you could say more song structuring in a way. It's got different elements that keep me invested that just don't flat out bore me to death, which I really would like to dig. Um, you also got some interesting things going on here. On the song White Christ, it features, probably going to butcher this man's name and I do apologize, Sakaz Tolis of Rotting Christ, who's the vocalist and the rhythm guitarist. He, uh, I think he does, I think, some solos on it, which, that's really, really, really cool, and the song's really cool, too, it's got a cool, like, marching groove to it, and the solo is just absolutely beautiful, like, it's very, very melodic, and it's a very, it's very pretty, it's, it's very, it feels like vibrato, it's very, 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 very very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Now, there is some other interesting elements going on. Like, you have some little, like, folky elements as well, and also some, like, piano moments on the song The Unrest, where, yeah, I'll talk about that song here in a little bit into the negatives, but it does have unique elements going along with it as well. And you also have some more, like, upbeat moments, like Lillian. It has, like, a really cool driving riffs, but it's more upbeat instead of, like, the more, like, bleakish atmosphere on the first uh, couple tracks, which I really do dig that they kind of have more variety on the album than more just than sticking to just one, one mode and just sticking to it. And uh, you also have uh, The Witch Hunter, which has really really nice melodies. I really love the melodies on that song. But the last track, The Rapids, is a thrashy bastard. Like, it's got that, it still has, like, the more style on the album, where all the other songs have this, like, kind of, like, bleak atmosphere, 
but it is thrashy through and through, and I really, really, really dig that. Like, I really like Metal Death, and particularly Death Metal, more thrashy, but I do like the Death Metal style that it goes for, but I sometimes do prefer the, um, thrashy side of death metal than just like straightforward like brutal riffs and all that stuff in more ways than one and i really 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 do that it's also got a little bit more folky element as well too now this album is not perfect there's only two tracks that really don't do anything for me that is starless paths and the unrest starless paths has some good moments but ultimately, doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Like, it's not a bad song. It's just, it feels a bit directionless, in my personal opinion. And the unrest, I like, I understand what they were trying to go for, but it really didn't click with me. It just felt like more of a filler track than anything. And also, not to mention the production. Production's really damn good. I will say the production's very solid. However, towards the second half, it feels like the guitars are a bit buried in some way, but it doesn't lose its, you know, flavor in any stretch of the imagination. And I would like to hear the bass up just a little bit in the mix, but that's only minor complaints. All in all, this was a pretty damn good album, in my personal opinion. I'm going to give this one an A-. minus. Besides my complaints, I like everything else on this entire album. Songs are really well structured. The melodies are really good. The more brutal and like guttural uh, growls that happens on the album are really, really, really damn strong. And the instrumentation is very tight on this album too. So yeah, overall A minus. So yeah, this has been a pretty damn good month for February, especially for death metal, in my personal opinion. So. This may be top 10 of the year, maybe top 15. Who knows? I don't know what I'm going to be doing for the end of the year. So, that's it, folks. That is my review of Insomnium Anno 1696. What did you guys think about the song? Make sure you uh, guys leave a like, leave a comment, tap that big red subscribe button, and tap that little bell for more notifications so when I upload, you will be notified. Thank you guys for watching this video, and most importantly, join the heart! I'll talk to you guys next video. Peace out.